Hey guys, this is just one part of a video interview I did recently with one of my Dodge instructors. Now I do wanna make very clear here that in this video, he is not speaking as a representative or a spokesperson for Dodge. We are just two car guys having a conversation about the state of our industry. Enjoy. Uh, that actually brings up another point that I was thinking about that one thing that people think about when they're thinking about the evolution of where we're headed and um, basically the, the newer vehicle, the Hemi was so approachable to the average person. Like I, I know even a lot of people think, oh, the Hemi was somewhat complicated, but it's really not. It's actually a very, very simple engine. It's kind of same idea as like a small block Chevy back in the day. There's not very tricky components. So the average person, it was very simple for them to upgrade, tune, modify, do whatever. And I know a lot of people are concerned about these newer vehicles and how hard it's going to be to actually make these modifications, make these upgrades. And I definitely feel like that's a valid point of concern. Any, any thoughts on that? Uh, it's definite. Uh, something that is it's a lot, it's kind of terrifying to me and, and GM has kind of been the leader on this. And I don't quote me on the dates. I think it was like 2013 ish. So computer companies, when you buy that computer, it has that whole, you're authorized mm -hmm. to use this. You're buying a, essentially a subscription. Right. And so, uh, they, GM's been trying to get control of this for years where they want control of the software in the cars. And as our cars evolve, uh, you know, manufacturers are having more ownership to that software. And so as these cars evolve, um, they are getting to a point. This company tends to be very generous with that. In fact, mm. they're even offering their own tuners now, which is cool. And so, right. uh, like, yeah, go ahead and tune our cars and other manufacturers. <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Right. Um, and even scarier, yeah, is what BMW is talking about, these subscription packages for, mm. oh, you want your heated seats? Yeah, you can pay uh, you know, so many dollars per month, which uh, we might be able to thank Tesla for that ideology. But <laughs> right. It was probably coming regardless. Yeah. And so that's, that's a very good point. It's, it is scary because now they're controlling things. They're like, well, we're going to take 100 horsepower from you. Right. And, uh, well, you want it back? Yeah, that's $100 a month. Uh, what? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, as, um, that's becoming very scary. Um, and I think I just saw a few weeks ago uh, something about GM with their uh, a Rico, which I believe is going down that software ownership. They have been trying to get the rights to control the, the software uh, to sold vehicles, which wow. means when you buy your car, it's like, well, you're not buying the car, you're buying the authorization to use this car. Right. And that, that is just wild to me, that yeah. whole concept. Yeah, that's some bizarre. scary stuff. So, wow. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that rolls out with time. Interesting. Thank you guys for watching this part of the interview. If you want to watch the entire interview, that will be released later this week, or if you are further ahead in time, you will find a link to it on screen right now.